backpack. Ready to start the last of this set of missions. If I had to guess the way this is laid out, it's going to be the first group, then this triple mission, we're going to have one final Halbeck infiltration mission. Maybe even infiltrate the gray zone. This is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more upscale. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. That might be more tempting if you were here. That might have to wait until we aren't fugitives from our own government. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Are you sure about this? Positive. Trust me. <laughs> Aha. See? What did I tell you? This. This is why I love you. You can send roses to my dead drop in Prague. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? Priority one is to find out more about this assassination attempt. Agreed. How are you going to go about it? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. I have a true bat cave. Still only a thousand. That's a cheesecake. Let's see here. Let's start with the contact first. See you in a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this, this is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. It stains out like a champ. Like a champ, Lynn. Believe you me. It's gonna be hard getting that stuff down his throat. Want me to get a funnel? A funnel? Yeah! That's a killer idea! 
Nathan Drake isn't Asian. Does it when you know I don't like sweet? Oh, the candy dish. That's right. That's where I left my keys. Should have said something earlier, when? Do you see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? I'd like to know more about Ronald's son. That is, if it won't cost me any important body parts. You came to the right place, and you're lucky you did. See, people come in and out of Taipei all the time without asking for clearance. So then I have to erase them so they don't expose me. I wasn't aware you had jurisdiction here. What are you trying to hide exactly? My secret identity and everything I know, that's what. Listen, did you know that in the 1960s, the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op codenamed Acoustic Kitty? No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And when. You're with the agency, am I right? I'm with an agency, but U.S. tax dollars don't keep the lights on. Really? Out. SIS, Office of Secret Intelligence, Majestic 12, TVC 15. Oh, wait. EPA. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turn me loose and let me go nuts. Uh-huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story, one time a salesman came in and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. You heard about Rome and Moscow, right? The International Hockey Championships? Oh, yeah. That was something. <laughs> no. <laughs> the U.S. Embassy attack and the incident at the museum. Really? Well, I definitely heard of that thing you just said. All right, color me convinced. So, Ronald's son, huh? Hey, did you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? Hey, yeah. And uh, considering that item posted a few years back in the Worldly Weekly about that pig fat being used as an experimental bullet toxin, not a coincidence. You might be onto something there, Mike. I'll look into that for sure. Ronnie's son, Ronnie's son. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? I've got some intelligence that suggests someone in Taipei wants some dead. You've got an ear to the ground here, but you might know more. Political assassinations? Yeah, those are fun. One time I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premier of Namibia. Hey, did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> but some? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sun's gonna be there, along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. I didn't bring my conference pass, and I don't feel like waiting in line, unless it was worth my while. Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. I knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that way. I'd like to be in on this. You got it. It is the actor that gives the voice character, not the writing, half the time. What are you doing in Taipei?
Nice. Okay, where does he add to the the west? Oh, all the pistons from the first mission. Here, all the, the pistons, all the pistols from the first mission. Oh, those are expensive. Might as well go down down in order. Let's do all our contacts first. I'm here to see the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Sure. My name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Most of them would be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an This American is another really call. popular voice actor. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. He's Poe's dad. I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. How if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people are known to these rogues. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant Guaylo tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. He was in Balls yeah. of Fury as well. Don't call me Mr. Hong. They have the best gangster names ever. All right, real mission. Okay, I'm not 
far from the market in the slums. I'm picking up some activity near your position. I don't think Hong Shirty is the whole story. The head of an organized crime syndicate not telling the truth? Gee, that's a stretch. Stretch or not, it looks like you're going to see some heavier resistance up ahead. Interesting. What is? I just found a 10-page list of triad members. How does that help us? I think it may be a list of all the defectors. You said 10 pages? How many defectors are there? A hell of a lot more than Hong Shir told us about. You better watch yourself, Mike. There's no telling what else you forgot to tell us about. My thoughts exactly. I have a lot of pistol ammo for this mission.
Does that count as killing him? <laughs> oh, I killed a lot of people I didn't mean to kill.
move left. You can find me. Couldn't concentrate. I pipe one out. Give me a long one. I know you're here somewhere. Come out, whoever you are. Shut up. I have something for you.
this is going to be a pain if I can't hack this. Start over and try again. Try this app again a little bit more stealth. I get over there. door opens, it must. But that one. Yeah, that one. You find out what I want. On my way.
no saving. Triads have been dealing with Al Samad. You're kidding. Why would they be working together? Any details of the arrangement? No, nope, just some ledgers detailing various transactions. This can't be good. Wait, there's a note attached to one of the ledgers. Apparently, these defectors weren't happy with the arrangement, but the money had nothing to do with it. All right, Mike. Keep looking. There has to be more to this. Okay, I need to get some uh, sabotage up. Oh, that was a checkpoint. Camera problems. Why would you carry a grenade in a lockbox? That just does not make sense to me. Ah, uh, hey, checkpoint. Oh, you know. Why would they give guard duty to an accountant? Apparently, he's been sleeping with two The guard tool didn't jump too. It's tricky because as an RPG, it's pretty good. Gunplay, I don't like it all, and the stealth, I think, is wonky at best. getting out of cover really makes it really takes away points well that and the fact that if you actually go for a stealth build you find some bosses that are just not meant to be stealth at all I will forever compare every stealth game to Thief and compared to that this gets Compared to Thief, it gets a three, but I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I do get aggravated with a lot of stuff, though. Damn it. Can I shoot you through there? Yeah. That works. A waste of ammo, though.
Also, their kung fu is weak. Alright, door there. Ammo here. Ooh, that's a lot of guys. I think it's a guy right around the corner. Maybe in the window? Yes. Yes. Right around the corner. That one of glass. I want to hope and say no. Nope, no glass. Excellent. Can I take out an auto turret without alerting everyone? Not a turret without alerting anyone. I don't think I got everyone else first. Controls for the sluice gates. Should provide for an interesting approach. Well, it's official. Red lion, my ass. More like red liar. I hope you're sitting down for this. That's one of the benefits of a desk job. According to this series of emails, the defectors aren't the one who killed Hong Shu's second in command. The big man did it himself. Why would he do that? The guy had the audacity to openly speak out against the gang's affiliation with Al Samad. I'm sure decided to make an example of him. What? That's the last of the lieutenants. Good work. Head back to the safe house. I'll arrange a meeting for you with Hong Shur's people. I'm on my way. Wait a minute. Mike, satellite's picking up multiple individuals headed your way fast. Triads? Probably. They're armed like triads anyway. How much time do I have? Not long. We'll be there in less than a minute. You better find a good defensive position. Good thinking. It looks like they'll be coming in from the loading dock, directly opposite the door you entered from. Looks like they already had a turret covering that entrance. That might be just the thing to welcome them. I wish I could hack better. Die!
to look something up for me. Sure. What do you need? Exactly how many diseases can I get from walking in this? Don't be such a baby. You'll be fine. After you get your shot. And a full course of antibiotics. And a month in the quarantine room. They left that part out of the recruitment brochures. these turks are doing anything. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Didn't want to die. That was a waste of time. Oh, he is doing something. <laughs> there was a mission that you missed where you had to do everything with a sniper rifle. Apparently, uh, mouse sensitivity does not affect anything with the uh, any skilled weapon. Thornton, you return. The television is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. Everything's taken care of. But next time, tell me your lieutenant's defected because you killed one of them as a warning. I did not feel you needed to know this, Mr. Thornton. Nor do my men. I trust I can rely on your discretion. Shahid was sending you large sums of money. What was it for? A man in my position has access to certain materials, Mr. Thornton. Materials that a man in Shahid's position finds very valuable. We had a long-standing business arrangement. You've already got the international smuggling contacts. You could secure shipments to just about anywhere an Al-Samad cell operates. Very astute, Mr. Thornton. You would do very well in this business. I did not sell weapons to Shahid directly. I was merely a facilitator. And how does that put you in a position to know about an attempt on Sun's life? I'm willing to provide my information, not my sources. Fair enough. Let's see it. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Sun. 
Pleasure doing business with you. And with you, Mr. Thornton. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Omen Dang. Omen Dang? Who's he? I'm afraid no one really knows. He is a powerful man in Taipei. And I have heard his name mentioned along with the rumors of this assassination. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks. I'm sending you the data I got from Hong Shu now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Nobody hires Triad gangsters to provide security for a diplomatic exchange. Any hint what was really going on? Hong Shu's lieutenants dug into the guy's background. Turns out, he was an NSV deep cover operative. After some persuasion, he let slip that he was working undercover to foil a major political assassination. Persuasion? Do I want to know? You really don't. That gives us a time and a place. Think it's enough to go on? Xingmei Station is pretty big. You could wander around for an hour and not find the exchange. You'll need to identify the package being handed off. If you can find a way to track it, even better. Well, I'll see what I can dig up. I'll be in touch. Okay. Good luck, Mike. Alrighty then. Hey, no mail. Got new stuff to buy? Want a better pistol? Did we get more expensive? Heh. <laughs> Maybe that one. I might as well get a big one. Well, that's a nice one. But Do I have better integrated circuits? That's what I really want. That's what I got. Or is it better? No, I have that better one. next one, let me switch.